In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a calendar in Word. And I'll show you three easy ways you can use in order to create your calendar. Just like this one. Or this one. Or this one. So, if you want to learn how to create a calendar in Word, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Online Office Teacher where I help you manage your data and information through online video just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. So to create a calendar, I'll be showing you three different methods. And the first method is by using Word templates. So having open Word, I go over to File, then I click on New. From here, I have different templates to choose from and as you can see I have a calendar here and another one down here however let's assume that I cannot find any calendar in here so all what I need to do is come to search for online templates it should be noted that for you to be able to use this particular feature you will need an internet connection so I search for calendar then I go ahead and hit enter and I'll be presented with some couple of calendars. You can go ahead and choose a portrait calendar or a landscape calendar, depending upon your requirements. So all what I need to do is look through and choose the one that will fit my needs. For this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and choose this particular one. I click on it. And from the next dialog box, I can go ahead and download it. As you can see here, it is being provided by Microsoft Corporation. And the download size is 131 kilobytes. So next, I click on create and the download will start. And quickly, the calendar will be inserted with this dialog box right here. So from here, you have the opportunity to choose the month in which you want to create the calendar for, as well as the year. If you look behind on the calendar, you see that general is in here and the year is 2022. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a different month, like September, and I'll make the year 2023. Then I go ahead and click on OK. You see that I now have September here, 2023, and will also be presented with this new dialog box. It's just a short tutorial as to how you can use this calendar. To show different dates, go to the calendar tab and choose Select New Dates or press shift plus alt plus enter. I'll show you the calendar tab in a moment after we click on OK. It should be noted that if you make changes that affect how the dates are arranged, Word might not be able to update the calendar correctly. If that happens, start again with a new copy of this template. So I'll go ahead and click on OK. And my calendar will be inserted properly. And if you go to the ribbon on top here, you see the calendar tab. So this is where you can go ahead and select new dates. You can also change the theme, colors, as well as fonts. So going down, you see that I have my complete monthly calendar. If you want to change any of the text, maybe subtitle, you just select it. Then you go ahead and enter the text you want. So I can type monthly calendar. Even the title here, I can change it by just selecting it once. The text here, I can change it. I can also go ahead and change the image. So let's assume I want to change the image. I just select it. Then I go over to picture formats and the picture tools. Then I go to change picture. This device. Let's assume I want to use this picture. I select it. Then I go ahead and click on insert. And it will be inserted. Awesome. Going down, you don't need to do anything in here. Everything is perfectly inserted. And finally, you can go ahead and change the text down here below. So now let's see how we can change to a particular month after inserting our calendar. To do that, I go to select new dates. And the month I want to choose is already in there. That is June. However, if it's not there, you just go ahead and drop down the arrow and choose the appropriate month. So I leave it as June. And the year is 2022. I go ahead and click on OK. And OK. And now you see June 
2022 perfect if you want to change the teams you can do that so let me choose this blue slides awesome i can also change the colors i'll choose yellow orange and i can also go ahead and change the fonts i can scroll down to choose the particular font i want i'll choose garamond so this is how you can create a calendar using word templates let's go ahead and see method two i'll just go ahead and create a new document by pressing ctrl plus n keys on the keyboard method two is using quick tables so to create a calendar using quick tables i go over to the insert tab and i click on table then i go ahead and point on quick tables and i will be presented with these designs so i will just go through and choose the one that will fit my needs i'll go ahead and choose calendar 2 and it will be inserted for me awesome this looks clean the only disadvantage about using the quick table option is that it will give you the opportunity to select the particular month you want at the moment it has given us the month of may if you want to create a calendar for a different month meaning you have to go ahead and manually change everything so let's assume i want to create for the month of june all what i need to do is go ahead and change it so i change the month the days are okay the next thing i do is go ahead and change the dates to correspond with the appropriate days in here you see that we have up to 31 days however for the month of june it ends on the 30th and for the year 2022 the month starts from wednesday so first of all i need to take off this one from here then i start it from wednesday so the simplest way to do this is by pressing tab key on the keyboard so that you select the content in the next cell so i just press one and i press tab key again two tab key three tab key four tab key five tab key six so i'll do the same thing to the rest of them till i get to 30th and i'll do this pretty quick awesome so this is how you can go ahead and edit the calendar after inserting it so that's it for method two let's go ahead and use the final method that is creating the calendar manually so to do that i open a new document again then i go over to the insert tab i click on table and this time around i'm just going to go ahead and insert a table and i need a table of seven columns six rows like this then i go ahead and click to insert my table and in the first row i go ahead and enter the days so this time around, if I want, I can start from Sunday instead of Monday. Perfect. Take note, I'm creating for the month of June. So for that, the days will start from Wednesday. So I click on the Wednesday and I go ahead and enter the first day. That is one. I press the tab key 2, tab key 3, tab key 4, tab key 5. So as I did in the previous one, I'll do this one too pretty quick and get back to you. Awesome. If I want to add a title on top, I just click anywhere inside the first row. Then I go over to layout and the table tools. Then I go ahead and split the table. And I'll have my insertion point on top right here. I can center it. Then I enter June. Or I can even go ahead and add the year 2022. If you want, you can go ahead and adjust the table just the way you want it. But I'll leave it as it is. I just want to show you the possibilities. So those were the three ways you can create a calendar in Word. You can go ahead and choose the particular one that will be convenient for you and also suit your needs perfectly. Now, if you want to learn how to create a monthly or yearly planner, I will leave links to those two videos in the description down below. You can go ahead and check them out. I hope this video was helpful. If you found value, kindly hit the like button. 
subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that you miss out on future videos. Keep watching and I'll see you in the next one.